going on travelers it is slider havoc and we are back playing a little more project ozone 2 on kappa mode yeah i'm excited because i got some fun stuff planned today i have a goal i have a goal and i hope we can do it and it kind of goes along with something i want and then getting achievements done at the same time all right so as you can see i was looking at the machine frame right because I've done quite a bit of the Ender ISO stuff, right? And I've gotten to things like wireless charger. I don't need it. Not yet, you know. <clears throat> um, the weather obelisk. Don't really need it. Doing okay on power. The only time I really could see that is making thunderstorms. And I don't even know how to do it. So, you know, whatever. Uh, Glistonic ingot. I've actually started the process. So I'm kind of working on that right now. Let me bring, actually bring my display back up. So I've got eight of them in there. I think I needed the energetic alloy. I think that's what I needed for them. And I kind of stopped. I think it's those and glowstone, if I remember correctly. So let me grab some glowstone and finish making these. If I remember correctly, that is the recipe. Oh, glowstone's already in there. Nope. What was it? I was literally just doing this not too long ago. Glowstone ingot. You were glowstone. Oh, and electrical steel. Okay, that's what you were. And that's easy. I'm sure we have some in here. I have 26. That should be good enough. Um, I know you get like, it's like two to one, I think. So that should be more than enough. Yeah, two to one. Cool. So we'll get that achievement in just a second. But anyways, I made some a couple changes. Because I now have power coming in, I figure we'll make a couple vibrant capacitors. So now I have two billion RF held up here, which is awesome, right? Nice and simple. And this, I now can see how much my machines use, right? Because this is totally full, so it's basically using 50 RF per tick, which I kind of, I like being able to gauge that and see that. So anyways, achievement done. There we go, cool. And you know what? I don't want to use all my electrical steel. Well, I pretty much did use all my electrical steel. So <laughs> anyways, so we've got that achievement unlocked, which is cool. That was not the point of what I wanted to do today. Um, I, I was just kind of showing you that we have spent a lot of time doing the uh, Ender IO stuff, and I haven't dipped into the uh, uh, thermal expansion stuff for Thermal Foundation. I forget which actual thermal one it is. It's all kind of the same if you think about it. So I wanted to dip in that today, and I was kind of looking. I was like, well, what is the one I need to do? And I need to make a ba basic machine frame, which is why every time I click on it, this is coming up. So I'm going to actually make a couple of these. Uh, reason being is I want to make some of the machines too. I'm just going to make the basic version and then we'll upgrade later because, well, I don't want to spend a lot of materials um, doing that. So basic machine frame is made with four invert ingots, four pieces of glass, a machine chassis, and these energetic alloy gears, which I can pretty much do all of that pretty easily. I don't know how much invar I have. I should have. Oh, phew, plenty. Okay, cool. So, plenty of those. I'm going to grab a stack. That's 16 I can make. Um, how about the machine chassis? I got nine. So, what is uh, nine times four? That's 36. There we go. So, we're good there. Glass. That means I'm going to need 36 glass as well. And I happen to have 41. So, I can just put five back. And there we go. And then I'm going to need nine of those uh energetic gears um alloy gear there you go this one right here so i'm gonna need nine of these so i'm gonna go make uh nine iron gears which means i'm gonna need 36 iron i think it is so let's grab that and one two three four perfect and then that way we'll have nine machine frames and i think nine is more than enough to start um, gear is in there. <clears throat> oh, I, I, haha, that's perfect. I already happen to have six of them in here. So that works out well. I probably just threw too much iron in last time I was making iron gears. But anyways, yeah, because my goal is to get to a specific item, which I want to hold off on really mentioning in case this takes too long and I can't get to it. And all we do is accomplish the, um quest which i'm totally cool with just accomplishing the quest if that's the case but uh i hope we're able to get to it because i really really want it and i like kind of keeping it like you know i'm not gonna talk about it right now we're gonna wait till we get there 
I like that aspect. Not that it really matters because you could just fast forward right now and go see what was it that he wanted to make. But haha, I may not actually finish it today and then you won't know. And then you'll miss all the good stuff in the middle. So, yay! Um, ooh, what are these workbenches? These might help me auto craft. I did, by the way, just letting you know from your comments, I did check out the crafter. I like the crafter. Uh, I think that's actually pretty simple and it might be an easy way of going about it. But for the time being, all I was trying to do was produce the wood with it. And I can always just, you know, bring up the recipe like this. Oh, too bad there's not that many. Oh, there we go. Um, I can just go pink and then bring up that recipe and psh, make as much as I want. So I didn't really take the time to make the crafter. I realized that what I was trying to do was, you know, fun and all, but not necessarily necessary. Not necessarily necessary. Oh, the English I like to use. All right, so hopefully I have 36 ingots of the, I just pulled them out, so I'm hoping here. Uh, okay, I got 64, cool. So then we'll make up the nine of these real quick, and then we can go make these. These are 5,000 RF per tick. Our system is putting out a decent amount of RF, but I think more lasers could be better. Uh, ooh, what can I make here? A lens clear, interesting. Let's go ahead and make you. Let's see. Oh, that's not going to be too long. I mean, I only need one for the quest, and I can start on the rest of them. Because now that we're finished, well, now that we finish this one, we should start being able to go over here. And there's two machines I want. I want the induction smelter, and I want to get to the fluid transposer. So I may skip a couple of these just to get to those two right now, but we will eventually, you know, complete these. Now I was thinking about going back to Gamma real quick because I want to do the division sigil because it's such an easy little thing. But the problem is, I uh, oh, you know what? We could do that. It's really, really simple. I haven't done it in a while, but yay, basic machine frame done. Oh, I need to put a chest back over here. Yeah, so you keep making those. I need to put a chest back down so the stuff's just not floating around. And maybe, 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 maybe we can, uh, let's use one of these skyroot chests from, uh, Slider's cage or whatever. Slider's labyrinth. All right. So you go ahead and put those in there. And I'll put you in there like that. And let's get this ready because we have... Ooh, I don't have a lot of time. Um, redstone. I need you. I need a safari net. Right. So I can slaughter one of my animals. And I need my enchantment table. Fortunately, all the animals are over there. I did finally put down. Oh, I need the sigil. Oh, you're in You're in here. And you're probably already lit up. Are you already lit up? You're already lit up. Oh, come on. Let's go. I can do this. I've got like a couple minutes or a couple seconds. I've got 40 seconds. I can do this. You like that. You like that. I think this is it. I haven't done this in so long. Um, where's, my, where's my safari net? No. No, no, no. I've got 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Oh, we can do this. We can do this. Where's my safari net? Yes, I have. You. Here. Come on. Go. No. Nine seconds. No, no. I can do this. I can do this. You. Here. No, I'm not going to be able to do it. It's going to turn. Oh. I thought I had that safari net. Oh, I was so close to getting it done. Oh, okay. We'll put you back for a minute. All right. We're going to come back and do this in just a minute. I believe all I have to do is just slaughter the animal, right? Everything else is set up right. Altar has a redstone circle. Altar and circle placed on dirt. Uh, altar can see the moon. Altar has sufficient natural earth. Altar is in darkness. Too late. Yeah, so I just have to wait for midnight. So we'll go ahead and keep the sigil on us so we can knock that one out. And that'll probably be right at the end of the episode because I can just check the minutes at that point. Yes, because I believe it's a full 24-hour day, which is 24 minutes. So yeah, yeah, that should be right around the end of the episode. But anyways, moving on. Now that we have... Oh, we have that basic uh, frame. Oh, I put it in the chest. So let me go grab... Whoa. Mouse is doing crazy things. Let me grab... I just need two, and I already have five. So those aren't going nearly as slow as I thought they were going to. That's kind of cool. All right. So now I want to make the fluid... Well, the induction smelter. Um... Induction, not induct. Uh, induction smelter, which should be fairly easy. I believe the recipe is the same. It's just the machine frames are difficult to make. 
Uh, Invar, Invar Gears, the machine frame, and then a bucket, and one of you. Oh, tell me I have the redstone stuff. Um, you are red, red alloy ingot. Let's look up that. Oh, new keyboard. I gotta get used to you. Red alloy ingot. Oh, I got you. Oh, no, it's redstone. I need this one. And, oh, that's this stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna make up a ton of that real quick. Only ten? How is that even possible? Uh, pff, I have no idea. Don't even know. But that's super, super quick. And, oh, I need to go grab some Invar, make some Invar gears. So let's do that real quick. Now that I know I have plenty of it. Alright. I don't need this many, but I'm just gonna... Uh, fill it until it fills. There's like 32, I think, going there. 30. Weird number. How many are going in there? 36? No, that's a, that's a really weird number to finish. Unless there's like one in the pipe or something. I don't know. I don't know how that works. But we'll have the Invar gear in just a second. And we'll be able to make that. Now, while we're making the Invar gears for the induction smelter, I also want to look at the fluid transposer. Fluid transposer is right here. And that one, I need copper gears. And the rest of that stuff is simple. So we got that. So I don't remember if I'm, I didn't make this one yet, did I? No, there we go. All right, so then I need to grab some copper as well. Because I am so, so ready to get something super special. Uh, this is 100% based upon one item that I want. That's really all it comes down to is just one item that I want. Okay, so got my Invar gears. Now I should be able to make that relatively easily. That was the induction smelter I was looking at, right? Yes. So you, I've got you, got you, got you, got you. Should have everything. Yes, cool. Induction smelter complete. And honestly, I only need the induction smelter for like one thing. Uh, I'm trying to get some rich slag. I don't think I have any rich slag. Rich. No, I don't. So the induction filter is going to help me get some rich slag. Now, I don't have any shiny ore. I did take a trip to the nether, looking around, trying to increase my odds of getting some rich slag. But I needed cinnabar for that, so that wasn't going to happen anyways. Um, that was the biggest odds at 70%. But I scrolled around, and I did see well, also dense with some blazing pyrothium. It gives you a 75% chance. But then I got to gold, and gold gives you a 60% chance. It's, oh, man infused. Where are you at? Where are you at? I saw 60%. There it is. So gold with some blazing pyrothium gives me a 60% chance. And then, because I don't have the cinnabar, I can't do that. I think that was my best one that I saw. Oh, 100% chance if I had some dense gold ore. But I can't get any dense gold ore until I get into pneumatic craft, which is something I do want to do soon. That is one of the very next things to look into is pneumatic craft. So, oh, and then I have the option of sand and redstone. That gives me a 50% chance. And I haven't actually, do I have any redstone I can do? I have 30. So let's start with that. I need uh, 16 of these and we will see why soon. Yes. Um... Sand, cool. So let's go ahead and throw these in here to get them started, like so. And then like I said, I did, oh, look at that, dude. I'm just getting rich slag. Well, that was much higher than the percentage. I need 16 of them. So hopefully I get them. I'm not getting the redstone though. That's very curious. Oh, am I actually gonna get 16 on just this? That would be awesome. Oh, come on, one more. Always one. Always one. That's okay. I think I still have some blazing pyrothium around. I do. So then I can grab my gold and do that. I went and uh, got a whole bunch of gold from the nether. And I think these turn into like four or six. What are you doing? Yeah, a ton. Right? 20 turns into... Uh, 80. So, yeah. So, it, whew, four per. That's pretty cool. All right, so let's go ahead and throw you in and you in and just, oh, there we go, done. That's all I needed. 
Just needed 16 of those. All right, cool. So we'll put you away for right now, just for the moment, because we're actually gonna be able to do this pretty quickly and I'm happy about it. Let's get our copper gears out of here. Where are the copper gears? What? It always does funky stuff. Um, let's go ahead and pull you back into the system, whatever, whatever you're clogging, I don't know. See, there's three ingots. I, how did that number get off? I don't know, but it happens. So now we'll get our copper gears. I was hoping they'd already be done, but you know, stuff happens and it's okay. There we go, copper gears, got them. And we'll just turn the rest into those. I can always melt them down later on. I'm just, I don't wanna worry about that right now. So now we're making the fluid transposer. This guy seemed pretty simple. Where'd you go? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay, machine frame got you bucket. I don't know if I have the bucket. I don't have a bucket. Of course, but I have a hammer, so we should. Oh, you know what? I can't, I have you. So just the bucket, that's, yeah, there we go. You're kidding me, I'm missing one? Jeez. No, 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 it's gotta be in there. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Yes, that's right, you don't autofill, I remember, because I've tried many a times, but it's okay. This is simple, simple stuff. Iron, I just need one. That's all I need. <clears throat> Iron plate. And now, I guess I could have made the bucket right now, but... Okay, so, uh, fluid transposer, not ransposer, transposer. Uh, bucket, make you, got you, and now I should have everything for this. Come on. Come on. There you go. Don't do stuff like that to me. It's just kind of annoying. Okay, cool. So we got the fluid transposer. Now... This, okay, so I have everything we need now. Um, however, I need to milk. Okay, so we've got everything we need, right? We've got everything we need. Um, let me see if anything else opened up while I did that. Oh yeah, because I got to go to order, so I can't get those until I go in order. This was 100% to get one of my favorite items from Draconic Evolution. I've already mentioned it. I think I've looked for like two or three times while I was recording. Um, it is the dislocator, the, the charm of dislocation, enhanced charm of dislocation, right? I thought it was difficult and I was like, huh. okay, this is simple. And I'll show you why in just a second. Draconium ingots, easy peasy, right? We've already made these. So we know that's easy. End of pearls, not a problem. The wyvern core, this is where it was difficult and I couldn't do it before. Uh, nether star was missing. And then I was like, oh, crud, draconic cores. Yeah. We need blue gems, right? Oh, oh, sad day. That comes from Neptune. I can't make it yet. Oh, sad day. Oh, man. I totally forgot that gem was in the middle. So here's what I was trying to do, okay? Now I can just show you this. Um, I, I was so excited. I so thought I was going to get it, and I didn't. But it's okay. I have another plan. I ha I had a backup. This was one of those episodes I was very prepared. So I was trying to make this glowing uh, Mangalori or whatever, which is nothing but Mangalori infused with the Zephyrian Eriothium or whatever, right? So I did the rich slag for this because it was steel around rich slag, gave you one ingot. That was actually pretty easy. And then you infuse it with the, the Zephyrian or whatever. And you get this, I needed 16 of them, hence the 16 rich slag. <sighs> Such a sad day. Such a sad day. Well, it's okay, because we did unlock, you know, we did we did finish our machine frame. We'll go claim that guy right there. So we got you, and I guess we could get some of these other ones so I can start making some resident things or whatever. So hardened, let's check out some of these recipes, all right? So let's look up the machine frame recipes and get a couple of these done because I haven't done any of them yet. Machine frame. So we've got the basic. Though This one takes four bronze, a ferrous gear, and a vibrant alloy gear. Okay. Fair enough. We can do that. Um, although I just used all the alloy gears for the other one. So... 
We'll go grab the iron ingots and make up a couple more of those. That's what we'll do. Because I did make a couple extra. There we go. And I can make that vibrant. Oh, I need to eat. All right. And look at the time. We have half a day before we can do our other uh, our ritual. Right? So we've got a little bit of time there. Um, so I'm making the alloy gear. So we'll make all of you up. So there's six of those. Now I want to make you up. Um, no, I clicked on... Why is things moving around? I don't know. There we go. I'm going to just make one of you. Although I have a feeling I'm going to need three of these. Because we're going to have to keep upgrading. I have a feeling that's how the machine frames are going to work. We're going to have to keep upgrading. I'm going to need some ferrous. Which I have. So we're going to need um, three ferrous gears. So that's going to be 12. And I'm only putting 12 in. Because it's that's kind of really annoying when it does that. So... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Cool. So you'll make the Ferris gears up real quick, and let us see what else we needed. Machine, machine frame. I need bronze. I think I have, and then those are going, and then the, the yeah. So we've not too difficult. It doesn't look like. Let me see if I have any bronze though. Bronze. Oh, I do. Cool. And I'm only going to need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And we're good. And then that Ferris gear should be just about ready. That stuff melts pretty quickly, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it melts pretty quickly. So we'll go ahead and pump this last bit of Invar. Why it's off by one, I don't know. I don't know what I did on the count um, for my thing. Because you, it's nine ingots. Nine ingots make a block. So I'm filling it all the way top. That Yeah, it should. I know I'm doing it right. At least I think I'm doing it right. Probably some mistake I'm not thinking about. But I was pretty sure it was right. Um, oh, I need to open you up. Okay, so let's make these Ferris gears. And it was just one per, right? I hate having to go back all the time. Um, machine frame. Just one per, right? Because this is going to be this one. And I can start with that. Signillum, shiny, and a pulsating crystal. I guess... Are you doing your thing? Come on. Here. You go all into the system. Right? Okay. And then you come back out. Pour. Why aren't you pouring? It made nickel with the Invar? You're kidding me. Man. That's kind of upsetting. Uh, do I have any nickel? I was like, this is like my waste drums here. Whenever I make a mistake, I just plop them on top real quick. Okay, so one, two. Um, so we'll plop you here and drain out the tank. This is literally like the best way I could think of it. Just quickly draining out the tank. Blood moon's rising. Man, those things are so annoying. All right, let me go get the ferris again. And then I'll start making some signalum and that pulsating crystal while that's going. And it's going to be a good day. It's going to be a very good day. So Ferris again, which is on me. Whew, deep cleansing breath. Deep cleansing breath. All right. So uh, 12, right? There you go. Get in there. Make me some gears, please. And Signillum. I know I can make it. I've made it before for something. I don't remember what I made it for. But I know I can make it. Uh, we'll put you guys back. Those are going to actually be good this time. Uh, signellum. Signellum ingot. Well, it, we'll just do this. How do I make it? It is destabilized redstone, copper, and silver. It's one to three to ten. Okay. And I'm going to need four, eight. I'm going to need eight of those. Okay, so I need silver. Um, you know what? We might need more of this later, so I'll go grab a block of it. There we go. And copper? Oh, man, I already forgot. Oh, man, my brain's not working right now. Okay, how do I make you? Uh, copper, yes, and then redstone. Okay, we can do that. So I made one block, so then I'm going to need three blocks of that 
and that's going to be times nine, so I'm going to need 90 redstone. <laughs> okay. Um, well, that's easy. Oh, psh. Oh, brain, please start working. Start working sometime today. All right, so you should be out already? Nope. Why are you... Why is that nickel again? How... How do I make a ferris gear if it's going to keep turning it into nickel? It's the ferris that turns into nickel, and I just remembered that. Um, ferris gear. Uh, well, I have to do iron, and then... A ferris gear. Where are you at? How do I make you? Only in the metal press? Oh, sad day. Well, I guess we're not getting to that level. How sad is that? That's that's so sad. I guess the metal press is the next thing we're going to need to look at because that's the only way to make a ferris gear. Oh, so sad about that. Oh, nothing wants to work right. This is This is becoming a little upsetting. All right, well, machine frames, I'm sorry you guys are all out for right now until I make that metal press. So and it lets me know that I need to take a look at uh, immersive engineering sometime soon, get that metal press up and running. But it's okay. I mean, I'm a little sad, but not completely heartbroken. A little bit, though. I have to admit, I'm a little bit heartbroken. I really wanted to get some more of those uh, achievements unlocked or finished. It's okay. It's okay. The one thing I can do before we finish up this episode, because we're getting ready to go do this. <coughs> Let me grab another uh, safari net real quick. And I don't know if the moo fluid cows will work. I think they will. I think they will. But hopefully a pig has appeared somewhere. You're all moo fluid, but usually pigs appear over here. Nope. We're just going to have to try it with moo fluid. Um, oh, wait. You're a regular cow. No, you're etching acid. Um, which one do I already have? Like tons of zinc. Shiny. Don't fall off, dude. Molten bronze. What are you? Diesel. Jelly cryothium. Okay, we're going to take the zinc guy. I hope you work. Because we got 30 seconds. I hope, hope, hope this works. I've got you on me. There we go. As soon as it starts glowing in like 20 seconds, we will be able to at least knock this off our thing. And then there's one other one. Um, that I looked at the other day that I'm pretty sure we can do. It's one I've looked at before. It was um, being able to make the endo pump and try to finish these last few right here. But to do that, I needed the imbuing station. So, all right. Perform the sacrifice. So, you. Hey. Uh, you. Yeah! Sigil's activated. And now, I just need to remember to do one thing. Uh, get those cows off of there first. Come on, cows, go away. Um, because you guys are going to keep spawning in. Yes, I want to just silk touch this stuff up real quick. There they go. Bye, creepers. Cool. And I got a whole bunch of cursed earth now, too. Oh, apparently that was an achievement. Didn't even know that. Cool, so we accomplished that. All right, cool. So... We've got this one complete. Uh, we'll go ahead and just do the middle one like I always seem to click on. And we've got the Cursed Earth. Right? Good. And ooh, we might be able to... Does the Builder's Wand have to be the Mobius? Or can I use Unstable Ingots? Because I want to do that quickly. Um, but anyways, I can start... Oh, I lost some of the cows. Eh, it's okay. We'll fix it later. <laughs> just a big old hole in the ground over there. You know, whatever. Um, but we've got the division sigil now, which is cool. <clears throat> so we need to make an unstable ingot. I need something that is a recipe for unstable ingots that I can make real quick so I don't die when I do this. I have died many a times making these things. So you are used to make that guy. You're used to make the pick. You're used to be melted down. Okay, so it does have to be the Mobius Unstable. That kind of makes me a little sad. Um, we'll just make the Destruction Pick. That's totally fine by me. So if I remember correctly, it's been a while since I've done this. I'm going to need some Obby. So one, two of those. And then, and if I remember, as long as it's in the crafting grid, we're okay. I believe that's the case. 
Um, and then I'm going to need some iron. I believe it's the iron you use. It might be gold. Um, I should probably read that. <laughs> well, it's okay. Well, either or. I'll just take enough of each. And then I'm going to need diamonds to divide by. I remember that. 26,000 diamonds. I don't think we're going to ever have to worry about those again. But I am going to make a vanilla crafting table. Just part of me believes that there's an issue. Oh, I already have one. Uh, there's an issue with uh, using other crafting tables. And I want this to go flawlessly. So, we're going to place you down. I have died so many times doing this. Um, you go there. You go here, I believe. Is it iron? No. Or I'm putting it in the wrong way. Is it gold? No. Is it something new and different? Or do I have to... Do, is the order wrong? How do I make this ingot unstable? I make you how? Okay, it's iron in the middle. <sighs> Divided by diamond. That's just so silly. Okay, cool. So we got to do this. Not relatively quick. I'm not overly concerned. Um, just get you out of my crafting tip. Uh, uh, uh. Good. Okay, cool. We did it. However, I didn't get the achievement for the unstable ingot. Do I have to literally try to hit detect in the meantime? Oh, no. It wants two unstable ingots. <coughs> which I've already done. And uh, 18 semi-stable nuggets. Oh, I can do that. I can do that. So to make the semi-stable nuggets, I think those... Okay. Um, what was that? Uh, ingot. Unstable. Okay. So we've got the unstable ingot. So we can craft this with these. That's fine. And that it gives us a stable, unstable... No way. I didn't even know that. It gives you a stable, unstable ingot. Okay. And this is with gold nuggets. That's where the gold came into play. I knew it. All right, cool. So we'll do this. So gold divided by... Pick those up. Diamond. I need the diamonds again. Wow, that's expensive. Um, I mean, not, not that it's an issue or anything, but that is expensive if you really think about it. So 18 of you divided by diamond. Um, I don't need 18. I only need 16. Was it 16? Let me. Oh, no, it's got to be 18 because, yeah, it has to be 18 to make the two uh, ingots. Okay. Um, ooh, let me empty my inventory. I think these all, I don't think these stack. So let's get rid of all this stuff to make sure I have room for all of these. Like so. Um, I don't need the gold anymore. I don't really need that pick. I can put my pick away. Just making sure I got enough room. So that's not going to be there. I have 18 slots open. Okay, cool. Okay, here we go. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Please stack. Oh, they do stack. Okay. Semi stable. Oh, they don't, they're not even dangerous. Sweet. So we got it. We got it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Achievement complete. Let us claim another loot chest. Sweet. So basically, the last thing is the angel wings, which I don't know. Oh, yeah. I got the flu transposer now. So that is something I can probably make in the next one. Um, I don't really need the angel wings. However, they would be nice. Um, for the sake of that I can wear my other armor that like you know lets me shift or whatever so if I ever need some really good armor because that is actually I think better than the Zavikio but I'm not 100% sure I don't know but let's go and put you away oh you know what I might do the compact giant cubes today for today's episode that's that might be the ones I do it might be the stupidest thing I do so far this season but I think we might do that today so we've got a quantum entropy accelerator. I'm gonna have to look into that. Some electrotene in red, some more walruses, and some smashing rock, cloud and bottle, and ball of moss. Not horrible, we could always do worse. And was there anything else I need to claim before we do our chance cubes for today? Um, I really, I gotta look into the pseudo inversion. I know that basically it's like infinite uses or something like that. Um, 
but I'm I'm not really a hundred percent sure. But do I have anything else unclaimed? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The glowstone. Let's get you. And I think everything else is pretty much I don't know why this one's always saying complete, but it's not claimed. <sighs> I don't know. And this one, this one still lingers on me. I can't get the extreme furnace yet. We gotta get going on um uh Galacticraft, which I believe is Iota. And I haven't unlocked it yet. And that probably gets unlocked with some of this other stuff. So it's okay. We're doing okay. But today we're doing giant chance cubes. Um, we're going to do all 14. We are going to do all 14. This might be the stupidest thing I've done all season. Oh, yeah. Let me go put this other garbage away. I call it garbage because, well, it kind of is. It's kind of worthless. And this, yeah, this really could be the stupidest thing I do all season. But here we go. We're going to go way out on the corner over here. Whoa, I wasn't expecting that. Okay. That was not at all what I was expecting. <laughs> it's a freaking nine or uh, 27 block structure. Okay. Uh, I'm so scared right now. I'm so scared right now. What in the world's going on? This is... Oh, oh, hey. Don't be shooting that TNT so... Whoa. Okay. There was no good to come from that. Um, all right, next one. Yeah, I love the sound effects. That's awesome. It's like pending doom right there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That is freaking pretty sweet. What is that? Volcanic. Oh my gosh. Please tell me there's like Neptune stuff in here. Neptune tin ore. Let's let's look. If I could get that gem, I need four of them. No, I don't think I'm gonna get that lucky. Zinc. Oh, that would have been so great. This is awesome though. I might just leave this here like all season. Uh. No, I don't think I'm gonna get the gems. But that's really cool. That looks like it goes from freaking all the way up to all the way down. There's a lot of cool stuff in this. Um, and I, I have to mine it all individually because I can't use my tildy. They're not the same block. That's really cool. I might just leave you guys there. So we're going to go ahead and put the next one over on this corner because I don't want to destroy that. There's just probably some really cool stuff in there. That sound effect is just awesome. I'm going to keep saying that like every time. That's so cool. Oh, well, that's not good. It, that's uncalled for. It's just, that's just uncalled for. So, is there anything in the middle of this? I wonder. I don't know. Um, next giant chance cube of destruction. That's what I want to call these things. I'm not going to say it this time. I'm not going to say it this time. I'm just going to let it go. Whoa. Whoa. That's, I mean, kind of cool. It, it, whoa. Whoa. Yeah, thanks for the negative effects. It's like a sprinkler of potions. That's so fun. Okay, so I will say this much. They may not be useful, but they're fun. All right, let's go do the next one. All right, here we go. Yep, I got to say it. That is just such a fun sound. And it really is like, it's like pending doom. Inception. Inception means like something inside something inside something. I'm not seeing a something. I'm scared. I'm scared. Some of these things like do stuff way later and no good can come from that. I'm scared of that Inception one right now. It's like pending doom. Inception again. What is going on here? Now it's like two pending dooms. Oh, come on. Give me something good. Like that that pillar of ores over there was cool. Who that is? I hope this isn't near your base because you have 400 ticks before stuff goes bye-bye. Uh, 400 ticks is what? 20 seconds? Oh, no. 
No, please. Please don't destroy my base. Please don't destroy my base. Oh, what's this? What's this over here? What is this? What is that? It's kind of pulling me in. What in the world is that? I, I, whoa, this is pulling me like crazy. All right, guys, so I don't know if I just got really lucky or this was all the damage it was supposed to do, but um, once that thing did whatever it did, it crashed the server. And with the server crashing, uh, it shut it down. And basically, I don't know. I don't know if this is all the damage it was supposed to do, or if it was gonna do more. And because the server crashed, um, it stopped it in its tracks or whatever. But regardless of what the reasoning was for this stopping. This was a sign that I'm no longer doing chance cubes here <laughs> in uh, anywhere near my base. Because, oh my gosh, if that thing kept going, that could have been the worst thing ever. I would have had to go live in the last millennium with my freaking agricraft farm and that's it. And, well, actually, no, because I wouldn't have been able to get there. Because that would have been gone. Oh my. I would have had... A bedrock, a bedrock. That, that's 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 what I would have had. I have a feeling that that thing was going to take everything out. Oh. oh my goodness! So I've decided. I still want to finish these chance cubes, but we're going to go do that in the end. There's really nothing that I'm worried about in the end. Oh my goodness! That was. I honestly think that that thing was going to vaporize everything, and I just got lucky from the server crash, and I almost feel like you know part of me is like. I should, you know, chalk it up as everything's gone and start over or call it quits. But I can't call it quits because I am having way too much fun. Um, yeah, so I figured we'll come out to the end and do it safely here because I want to finish this. And I think this is going to be Chance Cube Central from now on. Um, yeah, this is the only place I'm doing Chance Cubes because that was eye-opening. What, what, what? See, that could have been very... Yeah, yeah. Stay away from the base. We're staying completely away from the base. Oh my gosh. It just vaporized my, my chance cube opening cloud. Alright, well... Man, these things are... It's just all destructive. Like, I know you put down in the comments that they nerfed it to be, like, just very, very damaging or whatever. Well, hey, we have a platform now. That's interesting. That's, what are you doing? This is just crazy. Oh, it's that TNT one again. Four left. This, this, seriously, this is probably the stupidest thing. Again? Can I stop getting the same things over and over again? That's just really kind of taking the fun out of this. What's the worst that can happen? I almost lost the entire map, so... Uh, initiating block inverter. Inverting zero blocks may take a minute. Um, okay, I don't really know what a block inverter is, but hey, back off. Okay, I'm not looking at you. I don't care about you. Go away. Is that the same thing again? It's literally just giving me this... There's not a lot of variety with these, that's for sure. Leave me alone. You guys are annoying. You're just pesky. All right, last one. Oh. oh, it's the potion one again. All right, well, that really wasn't all that eventful. Um, yeah, I am so, so glad for that server crash. I honestly think I would have lost everything. Um, just the, the looks of it, it was impending and, you know... It may not have. I mean, that may have been the, the whole circle it was supposed to do, and that may have been all there was to it, but I have a feeling I got very lucky. I have a very, very funny suspicion I got very lucky because 
Yeah, it just... I I feel like it did say, you know, if this is close to your base, say bye-bye. And I f- feel like I just lucked out. Um, but hey, I still got one of my pillars left, so that's kind of cool, right? Um, but I'm going to go mine all this up and see if there's anything cool in it that I may need later. I don't... This is just... This is just too cool. Just a lot of regular stuff, really. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed. And, you know, let me know if you know what that block actually does. And if I got really, really lucky or if this was it, this this was the damage that was intended. I'm just kind of curious if anybody else has ever opened one of those and had that problem or had that happen. Um, I just kind of want to know for my own kind of peace of mind uh, if I really did a stupid, stupid thing and got super lucky. Yeah. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I had a lot of fun, actually. I really like working on um, the quest book and getting those things done while trying to develop all of this stuff. And also, I love the chance cubes. I think phew, they're crazy. They're crazy. But I got rid of all the gigantic ones. So we'll be working with more of the high costahedrons and regular ones in the future. Um, and I'm sure I'll get more of those gigantic ones and we'll go back to the end and do them. And I think I'll just start doing them all over there. But anyways... Um, if you guys enjoyed, please don't hesitate to hit that like button. I truly appreciate it. And if you've got anything to tell me, or like I said, you, uh, know anything about that giant thing that happened over there, please leave a comment so I can kind of, you know, you know, read them and talk to you guys. I enjoy it. And if you're brand new to the channel and you want to see more like this, please hit that subscribe button. It'll send you a notification, letting you know when I post videos, which has been pretty much daily. I keep saying that because... I'm thinking I'm going to force myself to do it. Not that I don't. I love it. I, I, I love recording and I love all this stuff. I'm having so much fun right now. So I just realized I have a death marker right there from 18 minutes ago. Why do I have a death marker right here? Was this where I was at when the server crashed? That's interesting. What are my lives at? Um, was it BQM lives? No? Oh, I can see it in the book, though. Um, quest? Oh, no, it's under party, I think. No, I still have 12 lives. I think that's where I was at. That's really weird. I was like, I just noticed it as I was finishing. So, anyways, uh, yeah, I have a feeling I got really, really lucky. This is now making me think I got really lucky. Like, I died as the server was crashing, and I just didn't know. I I don't know. But anyways, guys, until next time, y'all know the deal. I'm Slider Havoc, and I am out of here. Peace.